walking through what you're yeah, doing? I so, yeah. All right. So here we are in Illustrator. Um, I, need, I know I'm moving stuff around because I'm just giving you a space here. We're going to bring in, uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a trace bitmap on a existing piece of clip art. So I'm going to just use the place command to put it in there because it's only going to be in there uh, temporarily anyway. And if I remember, what was it called? Christmas tree PNG. I'm going to place that. So there it is. It's fine that it's large. Uh, your trace quality is really going to be kind of be based on the quality of the image you get. I can see this is highly pixelated. Our trace isn't going to be perfect, but it'll be good enough. Uh, so I'm now object image trace. Uh, I go right to make and expand. All right, so it traced it. So that's why I say the bitmap is no longer. Now we have Illustrator vector art. Okay. Now with the um, direct selection tool, which is the white arrow, I'm going to click off and I'll click back on. And I've selected white, a white shape there. Now this is just a shortcut I like. I go to select same fill color. Right now, the only thing on here is black and white. So when I say same fill color, it's going to select everything that is white, and I'm going to hit delete because I don't need any of that material. Now this is a nice trace tree. Hold my shift button down. I'm going to kind of scale that down and center that. All right. So now we're going to make our ornament shape. So I'm going to take a uh, circle here. I'll hold my shift button down to get a nice constrained circle something like that it made it a solid we want a path um, you can actually align these with a let's see let's just take this and if i go to uh, where are you there is some our align tabs uh, there we go here align <laughs> i'm under align and uh, i can do like a horizontal alignment all right so we just we centered those all right uh and we need another circle inside so um or outside whatever the case may be and i think we're finding our center and i'm gonna hold my shift button and alt key to do drag that out from the center, although I might have got the center of the tree and not my circle. But once again, I can use my align tools. I'm going to first align my circles. We're going to realign. So we're kind of back. Come on. Uh, why didn't you align? There we go. There we go. Thank you. Yeah. Then uh, now we'll. I think we should be able to take all three. I think. I don't do a, a lot of aligning. I do most of my stuff visually. There we go. Um, all right. So our tree, it maybe is a little bit uh, too small. We're going to make it. I want it to just fit here a little bit better. That's fine. Just so it should be, it should be a tad, it should be hitting all corners. All right. What we need now is our, the top. Something like that. Okay. And I'll make that a line. So we can use, these are lines. And um, we can do things different ways. We people who are familiar with V carve, we could try to uh, we can uh, combine these with our trans our pathfinder. Let's see if that would work. Because if it's something you know, oh, pathfinder is already open. Where are you? Oh, here you are. Pathfinder. Let's see if we can just get these guys connected. There we go. All right. So now we have our one line, two paths, path. This is a shape, not path, because we did our trace, which is great. This guy, we have to convert into something that looks the same, the same type as an object and not a path. So we're going to go to object, 
path, and we're going to say outline our strokes. Okay. Now I could have also made that thicker if that was something that was going to be necessary. Um, it all depends on, I guess, the ultimate look that we plan on going for here. Um, so actually, I'm going to undo that. While we have the chance, why don't I just make this a thicker line first under our stroke? Whoa, way too thick. Where are we? Oh, all right. Yeah, I'm trying to basically, I'm trying to match the thickness uh, of the Christmas tree already, and that's pretty good. Object, path, outline stroke. All right, so the same thing. We're going to use our pathfinder to now combine this tree and this shape here. Oh, no, we want the trunk. All right. We don't want parts to fall out, and we want to strengthen our ornament. So the one thing that we could do here is we could take these points here, hold my shift button down, grab these points as well, and I'm just going to drag that tree down. And it just kind of thickens out the shape. I could also drag this point down if I wanted to, but for this, I think it'll be fine. Select both those shapes. Pathfinder, this is our combine. It's a unite, I guess. I'm going to combine, unite, alt click, blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. I'm going to click that once. And so now, that's one shape. So now, what we can decide is what needs to stay and what needs to go. Um, depending on and what needs what thicknesses. Um, if I remove, I think, what happens if I just delete delete that? That didn't, that's not good. <laughs> I just see what points I have what here and what I can go and what I can get rid of. Um, I may have to take this and flip this into line it's probably not a bad idea to go and then from there you can decide what what lines need to be what um, so mr. Derry uh, do we need a cut line around the outside which is 0 0.001 correct 0 0.001 so now that's a cut line uh, this line here we if we want to cut this shape out we'd turn this to 0 0.001 Oops, okay. We have a compound shape here, I believe. So I'm going to take this object compound and say release. And hopefully that will do that. Or we can just select just that one line. Yep, there we go. So that was a good uh, lesson to learn there. If you didn't get the right result because one line, you think you have one line selected, yet it changed multiple lines, then you have a compound path. You just go to Object, Compound Path, which it's not highlighted anymore, um, and then release that compound path. Point zero zero one. This guy down here. You can do multiples if you know. I'm going to hold my shift button down since I know that those are both going to be the same. 0 0.001. And then anything else. Um, that's. I think that's it for cutting out, right? All right. At this stage, we're going to decide what parts of this tree. We've decided what needs to be cut out. So that needs to be cut out. We want to cut these out so it'll be like a nice uh, silhouetted shape. But parts of this tree I'd like to see have a different, uh, I guess, with the software. It'll, it'll engrave or it'll engrave those shapes. So I'm going to select the tree parts. And these are, right now, these are lines. You can see over here in Illustrator, they're just a stroke. I'll have to should, should, if everything goes well, I should just flip this, yeah, and now they're solids. So there we go. So those are solid shapes. And in the end, if I wanted to, I could do the same for uh, all these balls. Sometimes, if we get lucky, let's select same stroke width, stroke weight. Uh, oh, I forgot we had stars in there that didn't show up. Oh. We can work on That's that. That's all right. We could fill those. We could like fill those. Yeah, we could fill that with something else. Shade or something. See, see how yeah, I could flip that, 
and I'm going to take this and let's just make that gray. But I grabbed too much stuff. It so let's matter. undo. Because I grabbed this other shape here, which I didn't want. Anyway, all right. I was trying to shortcut it. I was trying to shortcut these. But yeah, I could just select these. Into, you know, I'm just holding my shift button down. I'm selecting here. And then when you get the one selected that you want, yeah, you could just flip it. If you want a shade of gray so that they carve differently or, or, or you know, can it do dither patterns? I don't remember. Um, anyway, so you could select that. So you, you get the point here. Uh, so yeah, I guess there's some stars. There it is. Yeah, some stars we should have thought about it before. But um, yeah, so. That's all right. We got it. You get the idea. Get the idea. All right, let's save this thing. Anyway, there's stars. <laughs> all right.